High school was definitely rough for these guys. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 movie wimps. Oh, that's not right. No. Just to be clear, we're focusing on the weakling characters that have no backbone 24-7, rather than those who show themselves to be cowards only in the moment of need. <laughs> Number 10, Guy, Galaxy Quest. Th there's a red uh, thingy moving toward the green thingy. Kicking off our list is the character that brings feeble will to the final frontier. So you guys came. Who wants the grand tour? <laughs> Guy, played by Sam Rockwell, pretty much plays a Star Trek redshirt who knows the score. Yeah, but that's what I thought. I was the crewman that stays on the ship and something is up there and it kills me. But now I'm thinking I'm the guy who gets killed by some monster five minutes after we land on the planet. This leads to fears about the typical and not very appealing sci-fi fates that may be awaiting him. Did you guys ever watch the show? Yes, he not only succumbs to anxiety attacks, but even calls out for mommy. Mommy! Mommy! Are we there yet? Number nine, Lewis Tully, Ghostbusters. You gotta come in here, you're missing a classic party. Yes, well, I would, Lewis, but I have a date coming. You made a date? Next up is the New York accountant, who's that special kind of wuss who can't even keep his composure in the face of one little demon dog. Maybe I got a milk bone. <laughs> While a good-natured dweeb, he serves as a stark contrast to the stalwart courage of the Ghostbusters when facing the unknown. Who are you guys? We're the Ghostbusters. Who does your taxes? Deep down, Lewis just wants to be a hero. And in the second film, he even gets to believe that he saved the day. Number eight, Brave Sir Robin, Monty Python, and the Holy Grail. Would it help to confuse it if we run away more? Oh, shut up and go and change your armor. Just like the song says, Brave Sir Robin always runs away. What, what do you want? want? To fight and... Shut up! Um, oh, nothing. We really don't know how this guy got a spot at the round table. A knight who genuinely fears danger, he's credited with a lot of non-deeds. These include nearly fighting the dragon of Agnor, having nearly stood up to the vicious chicken of Bristol, and personally wedding himself at the Battle of Baden Hill. Even his minstrels know what's up. When danger reared its ugly head, he bravely turned his tail and no! said, his brave Sir Robin turned about I the garden key he chickened out. Number seven, Anthony Michael Hall. Various. As you'll see on this list, high school is the easiest place to identify the spineless. Dora. Yeah. You are a parent's wet dream, okay? Chief among these are all the characters that the Brat Pack actor brings to his movies, from 16 Candles to The Breakfast Club, and even as the king of the nerds himself, Bill Gates. You don't Bill Gates? Yeah, hi. Chair of Microsoft? Yeah, nice to see Microsoft, you. Microsoft, we designed somebody had a whole box. Yeah, good to see you. The definitive 80s teen geek he became the quintessential archetype for all wimps to come. Yo, check us out! In an ironic twist, he also plays the douchebag jock in Edward Scissorhands. Talk about range. You can't touch anything without destroying it. Who the hell do you think you are even hanging around here anyway, huh? Number six, Chunk, the Goonies. Ah, shit! Fat and clumsy, he's definitely the gang's weakest link. What? A bumbling troublemaker, he's so wimpy that he only earns his keep in one way, by performing the truffle shuffle. Come on! Do it! <laughs> we can't come down on him too hard for crying. After all, who wouldn't be afraid of invoking the wrath of murderous thieves? Number five, Napoleon Dynamite, Napoleon Dynamite. What are you gonna do today, Napoleon? Whatever I feel like I wanna do, gosh. As we've already established, high school is the worst place to be a wimp. What'd you do all last summer again? I told you, I spent it with my uncle in Alaska hunting wolverines. Did you shoot any? 
Yes, like 50 of them. This curly-haired mouth breather not only votes for Pedro, but keeps taking life on the chin. Let me see what your best move is. Unlike some of the others on this list, he has a redeeming feature. <laughs> Namely, that while he runs away from everything, his need to dance is stronger than his need to stay out of sight. Number four, Woody Allen, Various. That's essentially how I feel about life. Full of loneliness and misery and suffering and unhappiness. And it's all over much too quickly. This is a special movie wimp who's connected to the actor directly. Yeah, What's the matter? I don't, uh, what, what, I don't, it's not natural. We're sleeping in a bed together. You know, it's been a long time. No matter what film Woody is in, his character is always the same. I'm not gonna get shot out of that thing. What if he's masturbating? I'm liable to wind up on the ceiling. Starting from A as Alvy Singer in Annie Hall, all the way to Z, the animated insect from Ants. Time to cut a rug, Z. Oh, no, that's okay. I'll, I'm, I'm gonna leave the rug just the way it is, Weaver. You could simply say that his shtick is to play to his strengths, which is to say, his weakness. Yeah, go to that one. Yeah, you know, maybe we should just call the police. Dial 911, it's the lobster squad. Number three, Milton, office space. Could you turn that down just a little bit? But I, I was told that I could listen to the radio at a reasonable volume. Hands down, everyone's favorite character from this flick, this poor soul is one of a kind. They've moved my desk four times already this year and I used to be over by the window and I could see the squirrels and they were married. A middle-aged man who never once spoke up to the higher-ups, he's a total pushover. Here, let me just go ahead and get that from you. Yeah. <laughs> Stephen Root brings Milton to life as the bumbling, soft-spoken, Coke bottle glasses wearing office worker who just wants a piece of cake and his stapler. But then they switched from the swing line to the Boston stapler, but I kept my swing line stapler. Lucky for Milton, he gets his revenge. I asked for a Mai Tai and they brought me a pina colada. Number two, the cowardly lion, the Wizard of Oz. Why, you're nothing but a great big coward. <laughs> you're right, I am a coward. Coward and lion seem like contradicting words, but this wimpy cat has no courage whatsoever. Sure, he tries to put on a ferocious persona, but just like his name implies, he's one beast who falls apart the moment he's challenged, even by a little girl. <laughs> Shame on you! What did you do that for? I didn't buy them! Hilariously, the lion goes so far as to even be scared of himself, which makes him unable to relax. Look at the cycles under my eyes. I haven't slept in weeks. Why don't you try counting sheep? <laughs> that doesn't do any good. I'm afraid of them. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. With so many wimps to pick from, we had to draw a line somewhere, so here are a few of our honorable mentions. Hey, maybe you haven't been keeping up on current events, but we just got our asses kicked, pal. The droid don't pull people's arms out of their sockets when they lose. Wookiees are known to do that. I see your point, sir. I suggest a new strategy, R2. Let the Wookiee win. <laughs> Number one, George McFly, Back to the Future. Taking the top spot on our list is Marty's father. What could possibly elevate him above the cowardly lion? Hello? Hello, anybody home? Oh. Uh, think McFly? Oh. Well, he's such a pushover that he allows his high school bully Biff to torment and belittle him well into middle age, even in front of his own kids. Afraid I'm just not very good at confrontations. Interestingly, Marty gets to go back and see that things were never any better. Very funny. You guys are being real mature. Maybe we were adopted. Thankfully, Marty's trip through time ultimately helps George grow a pair. Agree with our list? Which movie wimp do you think rules them all? Give some of your tots. No, I'm freaking starved. I didn't get to eat anything today. For more top 10 lists published every day, Gross! Be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. <sighs>